Iran has come out publicly and stated that the U.S. has fabricated the Taliban, ISIS, and Al-Qaeda. They go on to criticize the U.S. and its allies for forming an anti-terror coalition, yet they continue their financial and logistical support of these terrorist organizations. While Iran itself has been designated by the U.S. State Department as a state sponsor of terrorism since 1984. Although the U.S. is not the only ones involved in this, Western Special Forces and covert intelligence agents, including British SAS, the French Parachutist, CIA, MI6, and Mossad, have all integrated rebel ranks. Their activities are not limited to training. They are routinely involved in overseeing conduct of terrorist operations on the ground together with the Turkish and Qantari Special Forces, as well as thousands of mercenaries recruited for, by, uh, from Muslim countries. It's been widely reported that the U.S. spy agency ha has been arming, training the rebels in Syria since 2013 to fight the Assad regime. According to the Daily Mail, after the CIA spent more than two years secretly working to arm, train, and fund thousands of so-called moderate Syrian rebels to oppose the Assad, the U.S. officials have watched those groups become targets to Russian missiles. Now they state here that the Russian smart bombs do not distinguish between terrorists and their Western advisors. That's why you have people like John McCain and everyone else whining and crying that our assets, our boys, are being hit by these Russian airstrikes. That's also why you had McCain come out and say, well, let's just give these guys uh, surface-to-air missiles and shoot down these Russian fighter jets. Now, it's been confirmed that CIA operatives, along with British, SAS, and French special forces, have been on the ground in Syria uh, going back to the beginning of this war in 2011. Reports came out just days ago that an Israeli colonel leading ISIL terrorists had been captured in Iraq. They state that this Zionist officer is ranked colonel and had participated in the Tefkiri ISIL group's terrorist operations, noting that he was arrested along with a number of ISIL terrorists. The Israeli colonel's name is UC Olin Shakak, and he is ranked colonel in the Golani Brigade of the Zionist regime's army with the security and military code right there. There's a security and military code. Now, they had all been interrogated. And they wanted to know why exactly he was out there doing what he was doing. Well, the Iraqi security forces said that the captured colonel was already making shocking confessions. Now, several ISIL militants arrested in the last year alone have already confessed that Israeli agents from Assad and other Israeli espionage and intelligence bodies were present in the first wave of ISIL attacks on Iraq in the capture of Mosul in the summer of 2014. But until this point, no ranking Israeli agent had ever been arrested. Now, don't forget McCain and his boys here. I know I've showed this picture before. I'm going to continue to show it. This guy right here is known as al-Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS, ISIL, the guy that's been reported killed like how many times? Uh, but you can see him right here, Simon Elliott, before, now dressed as ISIS leader. He is a Jewish Zionist Mossad spy agent, a fake Khalifa. So, as you can see here, right here, is the same guy from the the John McCain pictures, Muaz Mustafa. They're saying that he was born in Damascus, Syria, before moving to America at the age of 12, drawing inspiration from the heroes of the American Revolution. Muzad has worked with Capitol Hill on behalf of the Egyptian and Libyan revolutions. Since the start of the revolution in his own country, Syria, he has worked in the back rooms of Washington trying to bring the Syrian revolution to the forefront of the political uh, discourse. So, yes, they have, they have people, and they're trying to obviously overthrow Assad, and I've stated why before, the pipelines and, and the whole rest of it there. IS militants airlifted from Syria to Yemen. Okay, well, let's see here. Islamic State militants have been airlifted from Syria by Turkish aircraft to save them from Russian airstrikes. This is according to a Syrian Armed Forces Brigadier General, Ali Mehab. On October 26, according to reconnaissance data, four planes from Turkey arrived at the airport of the city of Aden in Yemen. Two of them belonging to Turkish Airlines, one to Qatar Airways, and one more of the aircraft owned by an airline of United Arab Emirates, said the Syrian Army spokesman. Now, they said that there was more than 500 militants from the IS terror organization on board, and they were taken from Syria to save them from these Russian airstrikes. Now, 
They state that these militants were met by officers of Saudi coalition that took them from the airport in three groups. So when you have guys like this coming out warning that IS is planning a mass attack on Britain or the US or Australia or Canada or anywhere like that, just know who is behind it, who's on the ground with them, who's overseeing them, giving them the training, the logistics, the funds, the arms, all of it, and just showed you. So yes, until this point, uh, the threat of terror has been very, very uh, successful for them as their proxy armies to go in and destabilize any country, nation, state, overthrow whoever they want and just move in. It gives them the excuse to go into these countries. They send these operations in, they destabilize the region, then they have to come in and uh, save the day or whatever. But regardless, at the end of the day, the, the terrorists or whoever is on the ground, they're all going after, they all have the same goal and that's regime change. They want to put a puppet regime in, okay? They're also going to take your rights. They're going to make you live in fear, and yeah, they'll pull some false flags, and when I see stuff like this here, Islamic State planning mass attack, that is a false flag alert if I've ever seen one right there, especially with this massive influx of uh, refugees or whatever you want to call them. That whole thing is by design as well, and I've exposed that. So just be aware. Know who is behind this. They're trying to take your rights. They're playing for world domination through proxy wars and proxy armies. Till next time, this is Spiro. Peace.